Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rocio and this is Risa's Rizzles. And if it's your first time visiting me today, don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. All you have to do is click on that big bright red subscribe button. And then after clicking on the subscribe button, click on the bell because the bell is what's going to turn on your notifications. And then that way you'll never miss another one of my videos. Okay. Let's be real, this year has been a little difficult already. I've had my highs, which for me are very high, and I've had my lows, which for me have been very low. I feel like I started off the year with intention of going big. Like I had my weeks mapped out with the videos that I wanted to upload. I've got videos that I've already filmed that I just need to finish editing, and I just haven't really had the time, or I haven't really given myself the time to do it. I had this grandiose idea of having Reese's Rizzles all kinds of organized in English and in Spanish. I even started a newsletter. I even sent out my first newsletter in psych. Even that couldn't be kept up with. There's a lot that happened in the last two months and I don't even know where to start. Let me go ahead and start with where we are now. I'm getting kicked out of my apartment. Without going too far into detail, long story short, I am no longer able to live in this building, in this unit. There are a couple of people in this unit, or not in this unit, in this building that are being evicted and for some effed up reasons. So I was given until the end of the month to move my things. Today is February, what is it, the 20th, I believe. I think this video is going to go live on the 21st or the 22nd. I don't know yet. It depends on how much time I have. And because I won't be here at the end of the month, I need to basically have my things out of here by Saturday. And it's supposed to rain every day this week, and I still don't have a place to live yet. So I'll just be putting my things in storage until I figure it out. This was obviously not how I wanted my year to go. This is obviously not what I had planned. It wasn't on my vision board. My vision board! Let me show you that. This is my vision board. So I made my vision board in 2017 and I feel like I had a very, very productive year. I didn't put together a vision board for 2018 and I think it's because when I was going into the year, I was already in some kind of a funk and I didn't really feel motivated to do much of anything actually. And I think I explained a little bit of that in one of my get ready videos, which I'll link uh, down below or on one of the hover thingies. But 2018 was not my best year and i went into 2019 feeling confident feeling inspired feeling motivated and i was like i'm gonna get shit done this year i feel kind of silly breaking down my vision board for all of you so if you want to know what's on my vision board and why i put it and why it's inspired me then i'll probably make a separate video for you all if that's what you want to see do you see anything on here about me moving or getting kicked out of my apartment no no you don't you know why because it wasn't on my vision board because it's not planned it's not something that i was hoping to get done this year but it's happening and there's nothing i can really do about it i just gotta go with the flow okay so forgive me if these first two months of the year have been a little all over the place because i'm just trying to deal with things one day at a time so i'm sort of stuck in a dilemma because i was living here it was convenient for me the price was really great the price was amazing the location was awesome it was like my bachelorette pad and while the ultimate goal for me was to save up to buy a house or find my own place elsewhere i wasn't expecting that to happen so abruptly like i was hoping to get some kind of heads up obviously and not just like you have to leave at the end of the month so obviously for me things are not going the way i want them to so for the time being like i said i'm just gonna put my things in storage and i'll stay with my boyfriend until i can figure things out which that is also something that happened this year i have a boyfriend i met a guy and fell like that and i can honestly say it's probably one of the most eye-opening and amazing experiences that i've felt in a very i don't even think i've ever felt like this before i don't want to go too much into detail with that but uh he's a pretty amazing guy and if he lets me then i'll share more about him with you all i really just wanted to hop on here and explain my absence because I promised you all videos every single week and I was so ready to deliver. I promised you all newsletters every other week and I was so ready to deliver, which by the way, I made the announcement about the newsletter on my Instagram. So if you're interested in signing up to my newsletter, whether it be in English or in Spanish, then I'll leave a link to that in the description box below for you too. I had plans of uploading a tell me something good every Tuesday, which again is something that I was uploading on Instagram. It was supposed to be like mini reviews on things that I have 
been sent from PR reps and brands that I've tried and I really, really enjoy using and I just don't have the time to give a full dedicated video here on YouTube for. So I made little mini reviews on my Tell Me Something Good Tuesday series and then every Tuesday or every video in this series, I would also share something good, something positive, a positive message that you can carry with you for the rest of the week. I just feel like I've been slacking here on YouTube, like sharing things with you all. So I'll leave a link to that too in the description box below. Y'all, I'm all over the place right now. It's 1.32 in the morning. My head hurts because my vision has been giving me so many problems and I've just been trying to figure out the rest of my week. For those of y'all who have been following me for a while, you know that I also got LASIK about almost a little over a year ago, more than a year ago, I think. So I got LASIK done with LASIK Vision Institute. And upon recovery, I felt like my vision with my right eye, this one, just wasn't where I thought it needed to be because I could see perfectly out of my left eye. My right eye, it was always hazy. It was always fuzzy. I always had a glare. I couldn't see clearly. So every time I went for a follow-up, I was like, hey, we need to fix this other eye. And I was told that, you know, if I needed an enhancement, I would get an enhancement for free. So at that point, we started scheduling an enhancement. And for the first like four months, four or five months, I believe, four, okay, maybe about six months, I kept pushing the enhancement back because I wasn't going to be in town every time we scheduled it. Or sometimes I would think I would be in town and then we'd schedule it. And then I had a work trip or like an influencer trip or I was going out of town for whatever reason. And I just couldn't, obviously I couldn't have the surgery while I was traveling. One day, I remember. I remember I came back from speaking at a Burt's Bees event and I took a nap in the airport and when I woke up, I couldn't see out of my left eye, my good eye. Like I was, I, I don't wanna say blind cause I don't, you know, I've never been blind, I don't think, but it was like pitch black from this eye and I freaked out. I called them immediately and they're like, somebody's gonna get back to you and nobody ever got back to me and obviously my vision came back um, within I would say about 45 minutes to, to an hour and I was just worried because you know obviously if your vision goes pitch black like something has to be wrong nobody ever called me I wound up calling back about two months later to try to schedule that enhancement again because I knew I was going to be in town for a good while they said nobody was able to answer my call at the time and that they were going to get somebody to call me back and these people that I was talking to on the phone it was it was kind of like their customer service line whenever the office itself didn't have anybody available to answer the call. So that happened about three or four times starting in June. So from June to maybe about November, um, I was giving calls trying to schedule the enhancement. Well, the end of November came around and I was like, look, I've been trying to schedule this appointment. Is somebody gonna get back to me? And I finally spoke to somebody who was in the office and she's like, why do you think you need an enhancement? And I'm like, because I can't see clearly out of my right eye and the doctor said I needed an enhancement and she's like, well, uh, you have to come in for a follow. I was like, I know this already. I just need to schedule my appointment for you guys to see me. So she said somebody was gonna get back to me and again, nobody ever got back to me. Fast forward to January and I'm finally able to schedule a follow-up appointment for them to check my eyes and for me to schedule my enhancement. Well, apparently when I went to my appointment, I was told that because I didn't have my eye exam within that year, that year after my original LASIK procedure, that the free enhancement was void, basically, that they weren't gonna grant me my free enhancement. And I was like, I've been trying to call y'all for the last five or six months to schedule my appointment. Oh, well, you probably could have scheduled your appointment at one of our other locations in one of the cities that you had traveled to while you were out of town. So they basically wanted me to pay for LASIK full price again and hope that my eye would get better this time. And then had the audacity to offer me a Groupon. I just, I just wanna be able to see. So for the last couple of months now, I would say as far back as October, I would be getting these headaches mainly at night. Anytime that I would be watching TV, editing on my laptop, looking into the ring light while I'm filming, going to the movies, driving at night with headlights and the street lights and all that, like 
the glare from all the lights would just bother me and it would give me headaches and sometimes I'd have trouble sleeping at night because of it. Another thing that the doctor said or the nurse said was for me to use like blue light or blue li those blue lenses that I guess people are coming out with now or the blue light protect. I don't know what it is. It's like the blue screen protector or whatever you want to call it. So I need to find glasses like that and I guess I'll just be going back to glasses and contacts. At least now I know my glasses aren't gonna be super expensive like they were before because before my prescription was like a negative seven or like a minus seven and minus 6.75, which for those of y'all who wear glasses and contacts know that that is very poor eyesight. So I guess I just paid all that money for my LASIK to just see better, not see perfect, just see better. Well, even before when I wore glasses and contacts, I didn't have these headaches, so I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm ranting or venting in this video. I just, I think I just needed somebody to talk to right now. This late, I was just like, let me talk to somebody. And I didn't want to hop on Instagram because I feel like I deserve to give you all or that you all deserve an explanation for my absence. And you know what's sad is I was talking to my friend who's also my photographer who's been helping me with a lot of my um, shots on Instagram and we had a couple of video ideas and one of the video ideas that I had planned to shoot this month was an apartment tour and clearly that's not gonna happen because you know what? I'm gonna give you all an apartment tour. It's not gonna be a nice apartment tour because half of my things are already packed up and I have boxes everywhere but I'm gonna give y'all an apartment tour. All right, y'all, so here is my entry. This is my foyer, right? I had a really cool scripture quote right here. It's gone, it's already in the box. Um, this is my, my entry desk thing, I don't know. This was an antique sewing table. Um, so I have this here that um, I, I don't know if my mom gave it to me or if I just took it from the house, but I'm pretty sure I just took it. I also have this that I got from TJ Maxx which I just think kind of like brightens and opens up the space a little bit more, I guess. I don't know what I'm talking about. I got my coat rack for Christmas because I asked for a coat rack for Christmas because I guess that's what you do when you're 31 years old and you don't know what else to ask for Christmas. This is my hallway leading up to the living room. I had high hopes for this wall. I even had it decorated at one point with lanterns. Lanterns are gone. As you can see, they're probably in boxes. I don't know if they're in boxes yet. I had hopes of putting that piece on this wall. You don't know what it looks like because clearly it's still covered. But you know what? I'm gonna put a picture of what it's supposed to look like right here. So you can kind of see. It's a Terrence Osborne print. It's Madame Nola. So right now, I'll put it up even if it's just on YouTube. Here is the powder room, the guest bathroom. Um, pretty standard. I now have paper towels because my towels are already packed up. But um, yeah, it's my bathroom. The unit also came with a washer and dryer, which was very convenient, so I didn't have to do my laundry elsewhere. Then we have my kitchen, which is a mess. My kitchen looks absolutely crazy, but my cabinets are empty now. Um, those things are all packed up and ready for storage, except for my alcohol, because you never know when you're gonna need to drink, okay? I have some things that I just haven't packed in boxes yet. I also have my food, my spices, my food, Tula's food, my apron that everyone seems to love. I got this apron in Querétaro the last time I was in Mexico. If I can remember where I got this apron, I will show you guys, not show you guys, I'll list it down in the description box below. If I can't, I'm so sorry. I have a pretty full fridge right now. Um, just, you know, waiting for my very last day to empty everything out because the girl gotta eat. I also have this money tree that one of my best friends got me for my birthday. Thank you, Emma. I haven't killed it, thank the Lord. So hopefully it'll give me a much better outcome when it comes to my finances for the year 2019. Moving into the, uh, oh, my lanterns are here. So these are the lanterns that were lined up along my hallway wall. It just kind of set the mood, set the ambience. Hi, Tula. Hi, Tula. Hi, my love. How are you? Say hello. Okay, fine. So these lanterns, I actually got them for free. I modeled for a photo shoot for some hotel in the French Quarter and they were actually talking amongst themselves and I was just eavesdropping, but they were talking amongst themselves and they were like, hey, what are we gonna do about these lanterns? Uh, the bride never came to pick them up and the wedding was like four or five months ago and I was like, 
can I have them? And they're like, sure, take them. So I took them and they've been here. And now I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. So I have my dining room table here. I have my Alvin Kamara signed jersey um, up on the wall. That's probably the only thing that's hung right now. Shout out Saints, who dat? I'm sorry for my big ass mess right here. Um, but clearly, you know, like I just, <laughs> I don't know what, I don't, I can't explain myself. Anyway, this plant has been with me from the very beginning of this apartment. My friend Tiffany got this for me as a housewarming gift or apartment warming gift, and I've managed to keep it alive. I thought it was dying, but I reached out to Alba, Sunkiss Alba, because she's like, I feel like she's my plant guru now. She knows all things plants, and she told me to snip the edges off, and so that's what I did, and now it just looks a lot healthier, and I think it's just thriving. I think it's living beautifully now. It just, it looks a lot healthier, so keeping that alive. Then we have my living room, Hi again, Tula. I promised that my living room looked a lot neater a couple of days ago. So I've got my couch, my coffee table, my clock. My clock I got at Pier 1 Imports. My bench um, and pillows and rug I got at Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning is crack for me. I love Tuesday morning. My console, nobody believes me, but my console I got from Walmart and it's just ugh, i love this is probably one of my favorite pieces in my apartment and nobody believes me but it's from walmart the lights behind my tv my friend rita got me just kind of sets the mood for the apartment uh, my orchid i'm hopefully keeping alive this is what my boyfriend one of the things my boyfriend got me for valentine's day and then my little canasta with all of my favorite blankets is there my couch my coffee table and my dining room table set I got from um, Hurwitz Mints here in New Orleans or in Metairie. So if you're local and you know where that's at, that's usually where I get a lot of my bigger furniture from. Are you hiding? So I already have the majority of my hair products packed up here and upstairs. Let me show you what we can find. So when you reach upstairs, there's all this space here that I basically used for storage. I used to store all of the things that brands have sent me. So I had my shelves and I had all this lined up with boxes of products that brands have just sent over time. And then I have my actual bathroom here. Please excuse my mess, but I mean, it's just your standard bathroom and I'm utterly embarrassed of having shown you this right now. Sorry guys, but I told y'all I'm moving. This is another favorite piece of mine. I got this from Fina, which is a shop on magazine, but there's also one on veterans and I believe in Metairie. If you're local, you know what I'm talking about, but it's basically a map of the city in gold and I love it. I don't know. Fina is one of my favorite shops. I'll link it down in the description below if you're local. This is my room. Again, sorry for the mess. I haven't even made my bed, but this is my bed. So some of y'all have asked me about this headboard as far back as my older, older, older videos back when I started YouTube, you know, when I had the super teal walls in the other house. This headboard is actually a door. And this door I got from Tuesday morning. Once again, Tuesday morning is my crack, okay? I love it. So I basically just bought the door and was like, I need this in my life. I don't know why I need this random ass door. And when my dad saw it, he's like, why don't you turn it into a headboard? So that's exactly what we did. And now it's still here with me. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out, sorry, again, my bed isn't made, but I actually made my bed skirt. I posted about it on Instagram like last year, but this is um, just painter's cloth or painter's towel. I don't know how to describe it. And I just pleated it myself and then, uh, nailed it to my box spring and you know once I clump it together and make it look nice it's just it kind of gives a nice little look to it anyway rug is also from Tuesday morning got closet number one with un desastre closet number two is over there hamper um I have a view of downstairs this little balcony area of my living room and my dining room and out this window. And then my third closet over here, which is almost empty now. And this, this I also got from Tuesday morning. It's a little um, like jewelry holder thing. So one thing I wanted to point out about this unit, while I love my apartment, I did feel like I wasn't always in the brightest of moods. And I think it's because I didn't get enough light in my apartment. So the only window that I had in here was that one. That's actually the window from my kitchen, like the top part of the window. So the only light that I was getting was from that itty bitty window and whatever light I was getting from my living room. Other than that, 
it was usually pretty gloomy like today it rained all day so it was dark the majority of the time up here so i need light to function like i need daylight i need to feel happy and when it's always gloomy up here it just i don't want to get out of bed i don't want to talk to anybody i'm in the funk i just ugh. so i think that's probably my only complaint about this apartment but everything else i loved right tola did you like it so yeah that concludes my tour <sighs> i'm just sad but I'll get over it. So I'm sorry the tour wasn't super cool crib style or anything like that. And I'm sorry I couldn't show you all of my fancy decorations that I had before, but just pray for me y'all. Cause I hope that the next place that I find for myself, I'll be able to deck it out and show y'all a proper apartment or house tour like you deserve. That's basically it. Thanks for watching my rant and my just checking in with you guys and my ridiculous tour. I love y'all very much. Let me know in a comment below if you're having any problems with the start of the year and how you plan on turning it around because I think us folks who are in a funk need to support one another. So I'm gonna try to edit this really quick and upload it and that's basically it. I love y'all. Un besito. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!